An ankle breaker can end a defender's career, but what about the NBA star whose career almost ended over a fear of needles? You'd think scoring 71 points in a game would be the high point of the night, but then comes the needle for a drug test. Today, we're talking about fears that keep NBA stars up at night. We've got legends who can't stand statues, big guys who are afraid of sharks, and even MVPs who can't bear the darkness. Stick around because this isn't about who's scoring, it's about what's scaring. Damian Lillard, Unique Phobias Now, Damian Lillard is known for his fearlessness on the court. He's the guy who'll sink a three-pointer in the last second to win the game. But off the court, Dame has a really unique fear. Statues, but not just any statues. We're talking about statues of historical figures like Jesus, Abraham Lincoln, and Martin Luther King Jr. This fear sparked during his college days at Weber State. Dame visited a wax museum and was freaked out by the lifelike figures of people who lived long ago. Just thinking about it gives him the chills. But statues aren't the only thing that make Dame's skin crawl. There's something else, and it's something most of us can relate to. Needles. Dame had an incredible game against the Rockets, scoring a whopping 71 points. He was on fire. But just when you think it's all high fives and celebrations, the NBA hits him with a random drug test. And that means needles. For Dame, it was like going from a sky-high moment to a real low, all because of that needle. Shaq, the Giant and the Sharks Alright, this big guy was a terror on the basketball court. I mean, the dude is 7 foot 1 and over 300 pounds. He dunked on people like it was nothing. But even Shaq has a fear. A fear of sharks. As a kid, Shaq was scared of sharks, but nobody really noticed. Maybe they were too busy watching him slam dunk or break backboards. His dad even told him to just get over it, like it was a small thing. So after 50 long years, Shaq decided it was time to face his fear. He thought, if I can battle with the big guys on the court, maybe I can do this too. So what did he do? He got into a shark cage right in the middle of the ocean. The moment Shaq was in the water, surrounded by sharks, he felt that old fear come rushing back. You could see it in his eyes. Shaq got out of that shark cage faster than he used to run down the court. For a moment, it even seemed like he might give up on facing his fear altogether. But can you blame him? Sharks are scary. Kobe's dog poop dilemma. You won't believe what spooked the black mamba, dog poop. Yeah, you heard it right. The guy who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with legends, who shot free throws with a torn Achilles, was grossed out by dog poop. He had four dogs, but you'd never catch him cleaning up their mess. Nope, he called himself a diva about it. This whole thing started back when he was a kid in Italy. Young Kobe was all about having the coolest sneakers. One time, he got these awesome elephant print Jordans. He couldn't wait to show them off at the park. But what happened next? He stepped in a big pile of dog poop. He tried everything, breaking sticks, scraping the shoes on the curb. Nothing worked. From that day on, dog poop became his kryptonite. Donovan Mitchell's Airborne Nightmare now, NBA players fly a lot. We're talking at least 42 flights a year just for away games. But for Donovan Mitchell, one flight turned into a real-life horror movie. So, the Jazz are flying to play against the Grizzlies, right? This is a flight they've taken countless times, usually just over three hours. Easy peasy. But this time, out of nowhere, one of the plane's engines stops working. Everyone on board is freaking out, but luckily the plane makes an emergency landing and everyone's safe. Later, they found out the engine failed because it hit a bird. Can you believe that? Just a little bird caused so much drama. Since then, Donovan Mitchell admitted this experience gave him a fear of flying. It's understandable. That's a scary situation for anyone, let alone someone who has to fly so often for work. Michael Jordan's Hidden Fear Let's talk about the GOAT, the legend. You'd think someone like Michael Jordan wouldn't be afraid of anything, right? Wrong. MJ has a big fear of water and swimming, and he's not just uneasy about it, he's got a reason to be scared. Back in the day, he witnessed a traumatic event. His good friend got pulled into the undertow and drowned. That's something you don't forget. As if that wasn't enough, Jordan himself nearly drowned at a baseball camp shortly after that, so his fear is based on stuff that actually happened to him. But here comes the twist. Even with a pass that would make anyone avoid the water, Michael Jordan has found a way to face his fear head on. Nowadays, he's all about boating. Not just casual boating, mind you. He's gone full throttle into competitive fishing. He's even won some competitions with his team. So the man who was once scared of water found a way to make the best out of it. 
LeBron scary soaring. So, LeBron James we all know is a superstar, multi-time champion, one of the greatest to ever do it. But there was a time when LeBron was pretty new to the league, playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Back then, he wasn't too thrilled about their team playing. He'd say, it's old, it's run down. Now, the story gets wild when LeBron and his teammates were flying to Houston for the All-Star weekend. The flight started off normal, everyone was chill, playing cards to pass the time. But then suddenly, the lights in the plane began to flicker on and off. As if that wasn't alarming enough, the plane started shaking. Even the smoke started coming out of the kitchen. Everyone on board thought, is this the end? Luckily, they all made it safely to Houston. That harrowing experience was enough for the Cavaliers management to finally get a new plane. You can bet LeBron was relieved, and since then, he's been a bit more cautious about what he boards. Tim Duncan's Dunking Destiny Today, many of you might know Tim as the greatest power forward ever, but before basketball, Duncan was all about swimming. Yep, he was born in the Virgin Islands, a place surrounded by beautiful waters. Swimming was in his blood, and his sister was even an Olympian. But then, something crazy happened in 1988. Hurricane Hugo hit and wiped out everything, including Duncan's training pool. So, what's a swimmer without a pool? Well, you'd think, hey, the ocean's right there. But Tim Duncan is scared of what lurks in the deep blue sea like sharks, jellyfish, you name it. So what does a 6 foot 9 high schooler do when he can't swim? He picks up a basketball, and let me tell you, he didn't just play, he dominated. Thanks to his fear and a twist of fate caused by a hurricane, Duncan transitioned to basketball and became an NBA superstar. Davis, fearless on the court, afraid of the dark. Anthony Davis, the NBA superstar with a towering presence and serious skills on the basketball court. But when the stadium lights go out and he's back at home, Anthony has a fear that he just can't shake. He's afraid of the dark. As a kid, Davis loved to watch movies but he bit off more than he could chew when he decided to watch some scary ones. Those horror flicks left such a mark on him that he's needed a light on ever since. Fast forward to today and nothing's changed. Even after winning basketball games in front of thousands, he comes home and the first thing he does is turn on some lights. It could be the TV or maybe the bathroom light, but something has to cut through the darkness. While many of us outgrow our childhood fears, this one stuck with Davis. But don't let that fool you. He may need a light on at home, but he sure lights up the scoreboard on the court. It's a humbling reminder that athletes, for all their physical prowess and mental strength, also have vulnerabilities. But what's truly remarkable is how some of these players have not only acknowledged these fears, but have taken steps to face them, 